Hello, and welcome to a new video series focusing on Amazon Personalize, an AI service from Amazon Web Services that allows you to create custom recommender systems based on your own data. My name is James Jory. I'm an AI solutions architect with AWS, and I will be leading you through this first episode. Before jumping into Personalize, I wanted to give you an overview of what you can expect in this video series. We've broken up the series into four areas that generally map to the developer journey with the service. Over the next several episodes, we will dive progressively deeper on topics ranging from how to prepare and manage your data for Personalize, how to select and configure the appropriate recipes and algorithms for your use cases, how to train models, how to retrieve recommendations from your models and integrate them into your applications, and how to operationalize Personalize for production. If you're just starting out with Personalize, we recommend watching the series in order. Of course, you can also jump to specific topics if you like. In this introductory episode, we will establish the high-level foundation on personalization, the core use cases supported by Personalize, and the basics on how to use the service. Subsequent episodes will go much deeper into concepts, design patterns, best practices, and sample source code. With that, let's get started. Personalization is everywhere, and something that we've all experienced across the websites, applications, and devices we use every day. The rapid development of technology and the growing amount of time people spend online has increased the number of customer touch points and interactions. This has been across a wide variety of products and services available in multiple industry segments. As the ability to deliver more sophisticated experiences has evolved over time, so has the expectation and demand from customers to receive a more personalized experience with the brands they engage with. Customers today expect frictionless, curated experiences across digital channels as they consider, purchase, and use products and services. In fact, 63% of consumers now see personalization as a standard level of service. Delivering curated and relevant customer experiences enables organizations to improve business outcomes. This includes acquiring and retaining customers. Increasing engagements such as click-through rate, time on website, email open rates, and driving efficiencies in revenue, such as marketing spend, and improving discoverability, which is particularly important for organizations with large catalogs where new products or content are consistently being added. According to a 2019 McKinsey study, organizations that have implemented personalized recommendations and triggered communications have realized 5 to 15% increases in revenue, and 10 to 30% increases in marketing spend efficiency. Amazon.com is a pioneer in personalization with over 20 years of experience. Through our experiences, we recognize that different personalization strategies are needed for different use cases. Machine learning has enabled us to deliver unique experiences to individual customers using real-time data based on their behavior and preferences rather than as generic segments of people. Our goal is to enable organizations to leverage our learnings and make it easy for them to use machine learning at scale with the data and systems they already have to create unique experiences for their customers across multiple channels and devices. This is why we created Amazon Personalize. Personalize enables developers to build applications with the same machine learning technology used by Amazon.com for real-time personalized recommendations. And the best part is that no machine learning expertise is required. Amazon Personalize provides several key benefits. The proprietary machine learning algorithms used by Amazon Personalize create higher quality recommendations that respond to specific needs, preferences, and changing behavior of your customers. They are also designed to address complex problems, such as creating up to 50% better recommendations for new users, products, and content where there is no historical data to draw upon. Personalize easily integrates into your existing websites, applications, and email marketing systems to provide unique customer experiences across channels and devices, eliminating high infrastructure and resource costs. Personalize provides flexibility to use real-time or batch data based on what is most appropriate for your use case. For example, real-time data may be more appropriate for product or content recommendations on a website or in your application whereas batch data may be more appropriate for large email campaigns. A significant challenge with static rule-based systems is efficiently scaling and maintaining the rules needed to offer meaningful personalization. This means that while human effort to maintain these solutions increases proportionally with scale, performance diminishes. 
This results in poor consumer experiences and decreased ROI. Amazon Personalize does not rely on static rules, enabling you to scale your personalization strategy efficiently. Personalize automates many of the complicated steps to build, train, and deploy a machine learning model. It is an approachable solution for app developers and therefore expands the reach of machine learning to a broader set of organizations and provides an alternative solution to those with competing machine learning priorities. With Personalize, all of your organization's data is encrypted to be private and secure and is only used to create recommendations for your customers. All models are private and custom, and we do not share data between customers or with Amazon Retail. So how does Amazon Personalize work? You start by providing data about your users and items to personalize. The data we use for modeling and personalize is of three different types. The first is the activity of your users, also known as events. Examples include items your users are clicking on, purchasing, or watching. The event types you choose to send to personalize will be dependent on your business and applications. This data set type has the strongest signal for personalization and is the only one required by personalize. The second data set type includes details about your items. For example, their price point, category, style, genre, essentially the information you already have in your catalog. This data set is optional, but very useful for scenarios such as cold starting recommendations for new items. The third data set type includes details about your users. For example, their location, age, gender, subscription tier, and so on. You can get your data into the service using two different methods. You can import your data sets into Personalize in bulk using data set import jobs. This is a great way to bootstrap your models with historical event data and data about your items and users. You can also stream events, items, and users into the service using the put events, put items, and put users APIs. This is how you can keep your data sets and personalize updated with the latest interactions and metadata from your applications. We will go much deeper into how and when to use these data ingestion approaches later in this video series. Once you have your data in the service, you can create a custom private personalization model trained and hosted for you in just a few clicks. You can then vend recommendations for your users through a private API. Let's look a little bit deeper into this process. Behind the scenes, Amazon Personalize will automatically process and inspect your data, identify what features in your data are meaningful for the model, select the right algorithms and parameters, train and optimize a personalized model that is customized to your data, and provide a real-time auto-scaling API that is private to your AWS account where you can get recommendations. I realize I'm glossing over quite a bit of detail here, but rest assured we will be diving deep on all of these concepts in this video series, and most importantly, how you can effectively put Personalize to work in your applications. Next, I'd like to pivot the conversation to talk a bit about some industry use cases where we see Amazon Personalize delivering results for customers. Let's start with how Amazon Personalize can be used in retail. Personalizing your homepage experience with product recommendations based on each user's shopping history is a great way to capture your user's interest and make them immediately feel connected to your brand. Recommending similar items on product detail pages helps your users easily find what they're looking for. Personalize can also help users quickly find relevant new products, deals, and promotions. This is where cold starting items comes into play. And on pages and views where you present lists of products, such as on uh, category detail and search result pages, Personalize can be used to personalize the order or ranking of these products for each user. Personalize can be used in outbound communication channels, such as push notifications and marketing emails to personalize messages with product recommendations tailored to each user. And finally, you can combine Amazon Personalize with your own business logic to create high quality cart upsell and cross sell recommendations. The AWS customer StockX, a startup based out of Detroit, added a recommended for you product row to their homepage using Amazon Personalize. This ultimately became the top performing homepage row with customer engagement increasing by 50%. Next, let's uh, consider how Amazon Personalize can be used in the media and entertainment space. Personalize can deliver highly relevant individualized content recommendations for videos, music, and eBooks 
using each user's behavior. This keeps your users engaged and consuming more content from your application. Content carousels can be personalized for every user based on their content consumption history. You can surface new and fresh content on your site that matches your users' unique tastes and preferences. This keeps them engaged and coming back to your application. In advertising use cases, you can personalize pre-roll, mid-roll, and post-roll ad placement within video and audio content. And just like we saw with retail, personalized can be used to personalize push notifications and marketing emails with individualized content recommendations. Finally, you can create individualized genre-based recommendations by personalizing both the genres presented to users and the content recommended within each genre carousel. The AWS customer Pulse Live, based in the UK, creates digital and video experiences for the fans of some of the biggest names in sports. After integrating Personalize, they saw an increase in video consumption across web and mobile channels of up to 20%. Just as personalization impacts multiple industries, Amazon Personalize can also be used to implement personalization use cases across those industries. The use case themes we've highlighted so far with retail and media and entertainment can be distilled into delivering personalized homepages, outbound messaging, surfacing new and fresh content aligned with each user's interests, and helping users refine their item selections. It doesn't stop there, however. Essentially, any place where you have behavioral data on how users interact with items and you want to make personalized recommendations of those items to users, Amazon Personalize is likely a strong fit. To support these use cases, Amazon Personalize incorporates a variety of key features and functionality that enable better and more timely recommendations to be delivered to your users. Some examples include modeling on impression data, where you can leverage user impressions to influence recommendations. This means items that are seen but not clicked can still drive more relevant recommendations. Item exploration, where you can balance how much to explore, that is where items with less interaction data or relevance are recommended more frequently, against how much to exploit, where recommendations are based on what we know about each user's interests. Future recommendations are then adjusted automatically based on implicit user feedback. This allows you to balance user preferences with business priorities. Depending on if your audience likes to search and explore or if they like content served to them. Filtering allows you to exclude or include items to recommend based on event criteria or item or user metadata. This is critical so you can remove already purchased or viewed items from being recommended or limit recommended items based on item fields such as category or genre or even set parental controls in a video on demand scenario. Cold starting, which lets you make recommendations for new users or new items without any interaction history. This is especially important if you have a fast changing catalog or a lot of new content coming in, or you have a fast growth in your user base. Before closing out this introductory episode, I wanted to leave you with links to a few key resources. The Personalized Developer documentation includes detailed information on how to use Personalize and the Personalize APIs. We also regularly publish blog posts that go into detail on new features, customer examples, and integration patterns. Since sometimes it's helpful to see some sample code on how to implement a feature or build an integration, we have several resources available on GitHub that will walk you through using a feature or deploying a reference architecture. Finally, we have some complete end-to-end -end demos, such as the Retail Demo Store, that you can deploy into your AWS account to see how a full stack integration with Personalize can be built. Since AWS is constantly adding new features and improvements to Personalize, periodically checking in on the latest in the developer docs, the Personalize blog, and GitHub resources is a great way to stay connected with the service. So with that, I'll wrap up. I hope this episode gave you a good sense of the use cases in the field of personalization, and more importantly, the opportunity to deploy Amazon Personalize to create engaging customer experiences in your applications. Please join us for upcoming episodes where we will dive deeper into specific topics related to Personalize.